Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review, demo, swatches, and this makeup look using the brand new Shantekai Fall 2021 collection. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new collection from Shantekai, then just keep on watching. As per the intro of this video, today I will be reviewing the new Shantikai Fall 2021 collection. This package arrived to me last night, but you know guys, I film in natural light, I film in the mornings, so I waited patiently. I'm like, okay, I will be reviewing it today, but before I get started right here, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge and what we all know, right? Um, we received the beginning of this week the sad news that Mel Thompson is no longer with us. And I want to say that I had the pleasure to collaborate with her and the honor to collaborate with her alongside with her best friend Kelsey. And from that moment on, aside of the admiration that I had for her as a makeup artist, I honestly admire her friendship, her kindness, how pure of a soul she is. Yes, she is. She will forever be. And I'm sorry, I know you don't come for tears here. You come to see a review. Um, I just want to say that just as all of you guys, we will forever miss her. The beauty community behind the scenes. We are very chalk. We talk with each other and try to see how we are one another and just give our love. At this moment, the only thing that I will say is Mel will be always, always in my memory. As someone that gave me an example, I have my first share of health issues and through all this time, Mel, she always showed happiness through the lens of that camera, strength even if she wasn't doing well or in pain. She was a strong, kind, and I pray immensely for her children, her mother, and her husband. And I hope that those of you that can say a prayer for her and for her family will do so. And with that, a kiss to heaven, to another angel, gone too soon. But I want to say thank you to Shantikai for sending this beautiful PR package to me. I have been eyeing this collection that it didn't only came with two eyeshadows as we thought, but there is more to it. Look at this beauty right here. I mean, like, the box is just incredible, the images. But there you have it. We have five lip cheeks, two eyeshadows in singles, and one eye kajal. So I'm gonna be trying it all today, finishing my makeup. I already have my foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer on, a little bit of finishing powder. I will be leaving all the details of this collection, where to get it, on the description box below, along with the rest of my makeup. This collection includes two luminescent eyeshades, one of my favorite formulations from Shantikai. And look at these unicorns right here. Now, these beautiful eyeshadows, they are made in Italy. And we have here with the Tiger Cover Regal Emerald. And then we also have Wild Bronze with a cover with a Leopard. Oh, I just love, mm, they just look stunning. And here are the little compacts. I really love that this time they went with this. It's gold, but it has a little bit more warmth to it and then the covers with the tiger and the leopard they look stunning really really stunning i mean like this little 
eyeshadows they honestly are magical I'm gonna start with wild bronze which has the leopard cover and look at this beautiful shade right here isn't it this is stunning and I love that the compact also comes with a little size mirror right here let's just go ahead and swatch super smooth it's more of like a taupey bronze shade now this shade right here looks more of like a satin finish it doesn't have as much sparkles as we are used to see with the luminescent eye shades from Shantikai. I'm going to go ahead and use my Sonia G soft shader to pick up some of the product and I just want to do a very simple eye look today I'm going to take this shade and just apply it all over the eyelid wow that gave me a lot of pigmentation right there now that I have it here on my eyelid I can see very very tiny specks of shimmer they are not glitter or chunky glitter nothing of that sort and it has more of like a satin base let's go for Regal Emerald look at this stunning green shade this is amazing this shade looks wow you know what, seeing it in person and as you flip it, there's a little bit of kind of like a purple undertone to it. I don't know if the camera will be able to show it to you. Oh, there you go. You can see it right there. I don't feel that it's a dual, dual chrome, but I can tell you for sure that there's, you know, this kind of duality to it. Oh, yeah. This is different and so pretty. you can see right there a little bit of that fleet do you see it right there there you go so from up front you're gonna see that green but then it has um kind of like a purple base to it Sonia G flat definer I'm gonna first apply it directly to my eyelid and I'm just using it right on the base of my eyelashes a little wing right here too now I have some eyeshadow already right here on the brush but I'm gonna go with the Shantikai rose water and I'm gonna spray it this way I'm applying it wet on this eyelid so you can really see what is the payoff right here when applying it wet I mean definitely it got a little bit more intense right here than here the difference is not a lot, which talks really good about the eyeshadow formulation. Now I'm gonna take this same eyeshadow and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. Now this eyeshadow also has a little specks of shimmer, but they are just so tiny, I mean almost unperceptible to the eye until you apply it and then you see them and there's no fallout. Referral to brush and I'm going to Wild Bronze and I'm taking it on my lower lash line just wrapping a little bit that green shade. The collection also came with an eye cajal in black packaging the same and I love the eye cajals from Shantikai. They are really really nice. They are smooth, not too creamy, but creamy enough that they are easy if you want to smudge. And they last on the waterline too, really good formulation. So I'm going to use it very close to my upper lash line first. And then also my waterline. Swatch right here, super creamy, very, very black. I'm really done with the eye look right here and now let's go for the last part of this beautiful collection and here are the lipsticks there are five different shades love the unicards love the packaging love the entire theme of this beautiful collection that by the way i'm really sorry i didn't read right here what it says it says for fall 2021 shantikai has teamed up with sujan's tiger and leopard conservation projects to help 
in Rajasthan to help protect and preserve the future of these magnificent cats in the wild. And I'm sorry for the mispronunciation, but I, I mean, like, this is the thing that I love about Shantekai. Humans, we have made already enough harm to Earth that we really need to take care of our environment, of nature, of wildlife. So if we can give back one way or another, we should, and every day we should take care of our planet Earth. Now, not all of these lead chicks are new. Some of them are actually already existed on the line and some of them are new right here. But now let's go into swatches. And the first shade is Honeysuckle in this beautiful teal packaging. Oh, this is stunning. And now Honeysuckle is one that we have seen before. In fact, it was launched to for the spring collection and it's such a gorgeous shade. So let me show it to you. Now, the beautiful thing about these cups is that you can keep them and interchange them with other Shantikai lipsticks that you may have. Here's the shade. Honeysuckle. Next shade is Latana. Now compared to Honeysuckle, Latana has a little bit more of like a warmer tone to it. Next one, in this kind of beautiful sapphire kind of cup, we have the shade Jarul. You can definitely see that this one has more mauve, this one has a little bit more of that peachy undertone, and this one definitely a lot more pink to it. Red Juniper. Wow. This one I feel it has a little bit more of that raspberry kind of undertone. I mean, it's a red, but with that raspberry undertone, more like the cap, but not really hot pink. Now this shade kind of reminds me to, you know, those cherry kind of like bubble gums or lollipops. And the last shade, Damask. Oh, I love this shade. It's kind of like a Merlot kind of shade. Perfect for the fall time. Yeah, this is kind of like that wine stain kind of shade. Super beautiful. Completely done with the makeup look and let's go for my final thoughts about this Chantecai Fall 2021 collection. Oh my goodness, I mean like they really kill it with the packaging, the details, I mean absolutely everything. I think it looks super pretty, very on point as far as the theme goes. Let's go first with the luminescent eye shades. I think I want to talk a little bit more about this new I will say kind of new formulation for the luminescent eye shades because for what I have before experienced from the luminescent eye shades is that they are a little bit more um, glistening, a little bit, they do have a lot more shimmer. These ones are more, I want to say that they are more refined because the, the luminescent eye shades that we know of, they are very refined. They are just so gorgeous and so beautiful, but these are more subdued. Definitely this shade right here, Wild Bronze, is more of like an everyday shade, something that perhaps you already have in your collection, but I think nonetheless it's a shade that can serve you in many, many ways. I think a shade that actually you can use many, many times throughout the week. It's not like for one look, but I think the one that I think everybody were in love with Regal Emerald, the one with a little tiger on the front. I think this is just 
stunning. I love this green shade. It's not too deep, it's not too dark. It remains that beautiful emerald green on the eyelid. And it has this, like I said, they, they don't advertise it as a duochrome, but it does have this purple chief to it that it just gives it a little bit of like, mm, to it, a little bit more something, something, something different, something just gorgeous. And then I love that you were able to see on my application, whether I apply it dry or wet, the impact was already there. And again, I didn't have any fallout, not chunky glitter, not a lot of shimmer. The formulation for both luminescent eyeshades, they are very forgiving. For those of us that we have more mature eyelids, we have textures, folds on our eyelids, very beautiful formula and the shades are stunning. The one that I, you know, no, yeah, emerald green, this one right here, so, so beautiful. Now let's go for the eye casual. I do have a lot of experience with the eye casuals from Shantekai and they are beautiful. They last for a long time on your eyelids, on your waterline too. They don't disappear right away and that's a problem that I usually have with eye cajals. Um, usually because they are softer, they tend to disappear faster if you put it on your waterline. These ones, they don't. They stay in there for a long time. They are very easy to smudge and you know just work with it. I was surprised that it was a black eye cajal. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be like an emerald green or perhaps a brown tone, but I'm happy that it's a black one because a black eyeliner is always helpful and a Nykaa gel even better. So I'm really happy about that. And then as far as the shade goes for these beautiful lipsticks, I mean, don't tell me this packaging is not stunning. I, you know guys, I cater weddings and I do a lot of Indian weddings too, and these beautiful shades, it just speaks of the culture. It's just like so vibrant. Love that you can actually reuse your caps too for other lipsticks. I just think that they look stunning. And, and even better, the formulation, the lip cheeks, which is more, it's kind of like a hybrid between a lip balm and a satin lipstick. They do have. I don't want to say a ton, a ton of pigmentation, but they have enough pigmentation. They feel so comfortable on the lips, but they don't slide, they don't move out of place. They stay there really nicely. You will have to reapply, but I think the shade selection is really, I mean, like they did an excellent job because you have a mauve tone, you have a shade that has a little bit more of that peachy undertone than one that has more pink undertone to it. Another one that has that red raspberry cheap, which we haven't seen from Shantekai either. And then this last one right here, which is called Damask, that has this, again, kind of like a wine stain type of situation for your lips. I mean, truly a beautiful shade. It looks very deep, but as you can tell, it's a very wearable kind of shade that it's just stunning for fall time. If you want to transition into fall and you're not into like very um, intense lipsticks and you want something that is a little bit easier on you, perhaps you're not a person that likes to wear a lot of reds, I think the shade The Mask is really beautiful. And like I said, all the other shades, perhaps, I mean, Honeysuckle, you know guys, I love that shade. I mean, like, I cannot choose. Um, Lantana, beautiful shade, but I think uh, Jarul, because it has that peachy undertone, I think all of them are very beautiful. They did an outstanding job with this collection, the selection of lipsticks and the beautiful eyeshadows. And this is what I like about to, about this collection. It's not overwhelming. I mean, we have five lipsticks, but we don't have like 10 different eyeshadows or eyeshadows plus face palette and whatnot. I think sometimes that gets overwhelming. This one right here is like, okay, this is good enough for what I need and I'm just in love with it. Okay, my friends, I think I said it all right here. You let me know, have you picked up any of these products from the new Shantikai Fall 2021 collection or which products are going to your wish list? Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye.